Meghan Markle's half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr. has written a heartfelt letter to his sister, urging her to speak to their father and allow him to be a part of her royal baby's life. In a handwritten plea, Mr. Markle congratulated his sister, Meghan, on her pregnancy asking her to reunite their family and allow them back into her life once again. The Duchess has notably shunned her family and no longer speaks to her siblings and father, Thomas Markle Sr. Mr. Markle hopes Meghan will allow their father to see his royal grandchild, after the Duchess cut contact with him since her wedding in May. In his letter, Mr. Markle Jr. wrote, Congratulations to you and Prince Harry's exciting news of your pregnancy, the entire world, myself and the Markle family are so happy for the both of you. We are also looking forward to the new addition to the family and also hoping that we can be part of the child's life, especially dad's life because I can only tell you how proud he is of you and how much it would mean to him to meet his royal grandchild. Hopefully this can mend some of the past Markle family drama and reunite our family, but I'm sure that's only going to be up to you and your actions as we would all like to see our family together once again. Again Meg, congratulations. I only wish you the best and all the happiest time to come. P.S. Call your father. Love always Tom Jr. The news comes after Mr. Markle urged the Queen to step in and tell Meghan to sort out the nonsense with her family before the royal baby is born. He told the son, if she has one ounce of human kindness or humanity left in her heart, which I know she does, she should give it to my dad. He is heartbroken about this whole situation and everybody knows that if it wasn't for him, she wouldn't be where she's at today. She owes him that for sure. When asked if he thinks he'll ever get to meet his new niece or nephew, Thomas, 52, joked, Well maybe if I take a stealth fighter jet and I parachute over the palace into their front yard one night, you know, maybe. Of course I would like to be part of that child's life but it's up to Meg to make everything better. She's the only one who can do it. The ball's in her court and it has been since day one. I've tried reaching out to her. Meghan's estranged sister, Samantha Grant, also made an effort to get closer to Meghan. This month, Ems Grant made a trip to Kensington Palace to deliver a letter to her sister, in an attempt to mend their broken relationship. Ems Grant has made a series of cruel remarks to her sister through the media labeling her a duchess and accused her of fake waves and smiles. Meghan has notably cut contact with her father, after he staged a series of paparazzi photos for money shortly before her wedding in May. Mr. Markle pulled out of the ceremony, after reportedly suffering a heart attack just days before the ceremony. Thomas previously told Good Morning Britain, like any father, I wanted to say a few words. I was going to recount the funny story about how she broke the news to me about dating Harry, Daddy, I've met a man. Daddy, he's English. Daddy, he's a prince. I thought it was a cute story. I was going to thank the royal family for welcoming my beautiful daughter into their family. But it was a speech that I was never going to be allowed to give. That hurt. Meghan Markle's brother has said he hopes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's royal baby will bring his estranged family together. Thomas Markle Jr., 51, said he is thrilled that his younger sister is pregnant with her first child as he described the royal couple's announcement on Monday as bittersweet. Meghan's older half-brother, who found out the baby news through friends, revealed his sadness that he might not ever meet his new niece or nephew. The father of two said, it's a little bittersweet because of all that's been going on but I hope our family can be involved in his or her life. It is really awesome and massive congratulations to them. It's a big deal and I'm still processing the news. Mr. Markle Jr., a window fitter, also expressed his hope that his father Thomas Markle would be involved in his grandchild's life. It comes after Meghan and Prince Harry's official royal baby announcement through Kensington Palace made no mention of the Duchess' estranged father, instead revealing her mother Doria Ragland was very happy about the lovely news. Mr. Markle Jr. said, I'm sure my dad is extremely overjoyed and extremely happy. Meghan is the most important thing in his life, so I truly hope my dad is there to witness it and be part of it. Meghan's father Thomas Markle 
who recently admitted to using cocaine in the past, is at the center of a very public feud with his daughter, the royal family's newest member, after he failed to attend her royal wedding due to health implications. And father and daughter have reportedly not spoken since then after he and several other Markle family members have given a series of explosive interviews where he has blasted his daughter and the royal family, comparing them to a cult. But the 74-year-old, who reportedly didn't receive the royal baby news directly, is said to have written Meghan a letter telling her she will be a great mum. In a sly dig to the royal family, his son Mr. Markle Jr. said it was important that Meghan and Harry's baby is in contact with family members outside of the UK. He added, I think the baby needs to know that there's family out here, not just the immediate family there in the UK. Most of all my dad should be there though. This makes him a grandfather six times over. But I'm sure this would mean a lot more to my dad than all the rest. Mr. Markle Jr. said his father absolutely has to be involved in this adding, I hope it brings my dad back to her because I know how much it means to him and I know how he's feeling right now about the whole thing and I know he's really sad because he got pushed off to the side as well just like everybody else. It would be wonderful to see them close again, you know. It comes after Meghan's half-sister Samantha Markle said she hoped the new baby would be an opportunity to heal the rifts in the family. Kensington Palace announced on Monday Meghan and Prince Harry are expecting their first child amid their first royal tour to Australia, New Zealand, Donga, and Fiji. The Duchess of Sussex is believed to be 12 weeks pregnant, finally putting to bed rumours and speculation that have been building for months. The baby is due next spring. Meghan Markle delivered her first official speech of the royal tour in Fiji this morning with an emotion address on education where she spoke candidly about her own financial struggles as a young undergraduate at Northwestern University. The Duchess of Sussex used the speech to speak about the importance of access to education for all during her first official speech during the royal tour of Fiji, and only her second ever as a member of the royal family. Meghan spoke movingly of the feeling of pride and excitement that comes with attending university but revealed that she struggled with the cost of tuition as she addressed an audience at the University of the South Pacific today. The Duchess said it was through scholarships, financial aid programs and earnings from a job on campus she was able to afford to attend university. Without question, it was worth every effort, she added. After addressing the audience with a traditional greeting, she spoke of her pleasure to be on the island, before delivering the moving address on education. In her passionate speech she said, As a university graduate, I know the personal feeling of pride and excitement that comes with attending university, from the moment you receive the acceptance letter to exams you spend countless late nights studying for. I am also fully aware of the challenges of being able to afford this level of schooling for many people around the world, myself included. It was with scholarships, financial aid programs and earnings from a job on campus that went directly towards my tuition that I was able to attend university and without question, it was worth every effort. Everyone should be afforded the opportunity to receive the education that they want, but more importantly the education that they have the right to receive. And for women and girls in developing countries, this is vital. The Duchess of Sussex also announced two new grants for the Fiji National University and the University of the South Pacific. Meghan added, So I am very pleased to announce today that two new grants will be awarded to Fiji National University and the University of the South Pacific, allowing each of them to run workshops, which empower their female staff. This means that female faculty members are able to encourage others to follow in their footsteps and enter higher education and that more women become part of the decision-making process in academic institutions. Prince Harry also delivered a speech to students, during which he launched four new Queen Elizabeth scholarships. Before taking the stage, the royal duo enjoyed a colorful performance on climate change by singers and dancers at the university after being presented with traditional Fijian lays adorned with flowers. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently on their major 16-day trip to Oceania, the first one the royal duo has done together since they tied the knot last May.
even though Meghan has cut down her schedule due to her pregnancy, which was announced as she left for Australia last week, the former Suits actress will attend all her engagements in Fiji today. But before she addressed the students at the University of the South Pacific today, she was rushed out of a market where she was attending an official engagement, as large crowds sparked security fears.